and I got up this morning to edit y'all can't see me I got up this morning to edit and I just got dressed for the gym I'm, I'm using a new little tripod thingy so it's a little bit higher than the one that I usually use I usually use this Sony one but you can't you can't like expand it so my friend Jennifer, when I was in Atlanta, she gave me one. Uh, I've been editing. So um, my video, I was trying to, I was hoping that, first of all, welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. I'm going to be picking up the camera all day today, okay? Um, so like I said, I got up at like 4.30 because that's just what I do. And I came in here and I started uh, editing my vlog and I finished editing the vlog. So I wanted to not go to the gym until I had the vlog uploading to YouTube. So now that it is finished exporting, I'm going to go ahead and upload it to YouTube. And because y'all went to sleep last night, <laughs> I have been exhausted and I, I don't know. I don't know y'all I just been really tired and I just I don't really know why probably I think I'm gonna go to the doctor and just explain what's been going on um, because I don't know I think it's it's only been well this year has been busy for me I've been like doing a lot of traveling and this month it's alone has been hectic with you know getting off really late getting on really early and then trying to vlog and stay up to edit videos traveling xyz so i i'm thinking that's probably why i'm tired but i still you know my anxiety stems from like me thinking something is going to happen to me health wise so i have to go to the doctor to make sure that i am good there so all that said i'm not gonna chit chat too long i'm gonna start the upload and hope and pray that by the time i get back from the gym the video is uploaded and i'll do the description box and i've already edited the look that i want to post on instagram but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for y'all i'm gonna wait to see what y'all think what look y'all think I, I should post today but I'm editing, no, I'm putting the, I'm uploading the video to YouTube. And I'm going to go to the gym. And then after the gym, I kind of want to get a smoothie from Smoothie King. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get a smoothie from Smoothie King just to get a little bit of variety. I want to go to GNC or somewhere. But every time I go to GNC or the vitamin shop, they never had the stuff that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to order it online. Um, I saw this company called... EHP or EPH 
labs that I want to get some pre-workout and creatine from. So, yeah. So, that's what we're doing today. Of course, we're going to work as well. I probably will go get a wax. I need to go get my feet done. And I need to do my holiday shopping. So, I might do that today after I get off work too. So, I need to go buy my nieces and nephews their holiday gifts. So, I might do that today. This is my gym fit. Let me show y'all my gym fit. My office is, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's not like the cleanest. Uh, can y'all see me? This is my gym fit. So this is one of those, oh my God, hold on y'all. The uh, switch for the light. So this is my gym fit today. This is one of those American Eagle sweatshirts that I bought, the hoodie that I bought. I am trying to get comfortable with this belly because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get a Tommy Tuck. So like, yeah, I need to give me a new J-Scopes. Anyway, I'm wearing my, I guess you can call them army green or olive green, Lulu Align leggings. This little um, hoodie that I got from American Eagle the other day. This is the, the sage color one. And then I'm just gonna put my v2k runs on with this and i don't know what i'm gonna do in the gym today y'all i have to get me a a new split going i probably would just do um i might just do cardio today because i don't know y'all been struggling i've been struggling in the gym i really think i need a trainer i was gonna get a trainer there's this girl on instagram I forgot her name, but there's this girl on Instagram. She does online training, but she lives in the DFW area. So I'm thinking, oh, if she lives in the DFW area, I live in the DFW area. Maybe she'll do like in-person training. And it was like, I had a cons I had a meeting, consultation, whatever you want to call it, with one of her customer service people. And it's completely online. And I mean, that's cool, but I feel like I do enough for myself to... You know, like, I feel like I need in-person training. And it was going to be like 270 something a month. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to be able to do that one. Um, so I'm still in search for a physical trainer, personal trainer. Um, whenever this gym opens, I'm hoping that there's going to be a lot of people in there and I can see if there's someone who who trains I really don't want to sign up with a trainer at the gym because the gym trainers be like a little bit too expensive and they don't necessarily I mean not too expensive they're expensive but they don't necessarily really like I don't know in my experience the trainer like I had a trainer in LA fitness when I first started going to the gym maybe like six years ago and they just never really listen to you or really tailor your workouts to you it's like they they do the same you especially at the gym because they have their little book oh we want to try to see how you're doing with this how you're doing with that and then they have like a standard you know format that they do for people i think it's based on their physical their level of physical activity or whatever but it kind of still seems like the same thing like I see them people training people in the gym every day and everybody looks like they're doing the same thing just on a different level anyway I'm going to finish preparing this to upload schedule it then I'm going to go to the gym um, I don't think I have anything on my calendar early this morning so I should be good and I'll see y'all later Hey y'all, I'm in the car. Uh, I have this little tripod thing sitting up. Um, I have my little tripod thing here. So Jennifer gave me last week when I was in, last weekend when I was in Atlanta, Jennifer gave me this tripod, this bendable tripod thing. And it has rubber on it. So I'm, I have it bent up. Um, and so I have it like sitting behind my screen in my car. So I'm hoping 
that that stays so since it's rubber it I'm thinking it's not gonna slide but we'll see so I'm gonna pull out and we shall see how this works I'm just gonna drive like I normally drive without being careful is it moving y'all I don't think it's moving perfection now the only thing is is the is the laws gonna not want me to be having it like this Basically, it's illegal for me to have my child. I mean, I'm not using my hands, so I feel like it should be okay. Anyway, we're on our way to the gym. And today after the gym, I'm going to go, because I didn't go to Home Depot yesterday to get that rock salt for my water thing. So I think I'm going to go to the gym. I mean, I'm on my way to the gym, but after the gym, I think I'm going to go to Home Depot to get that rock salt stuff so that I can put it in my water filter system. Okay y'all, I feel like we I feel like we doing good, but I don't know if it's legal for me to have the camera up like this, but it is really working. I am so proud and happy. Anyway, I don't even have anything to say, y'all. So I'm just gonna turn the camera off so we can save battery. And then when we get to, to Home Depot, I'm going to try to like twist this thing around the car and see and see if I can, you know, record in Home Depot. This is probably gonna be a game changer. All right, y'all. See y'all later. after I went to Home Depot. Um, I mean, I think I showed y'all when I went to Target. Um, but I went because, girl, I was trying to get, I don't even think y'all can see me. Hold on. All right, so I was saying, my camera is crooked. I'm using this little dongle tripod thingy that Jennifer gave me. Anyway, I was saying I went to Target because I wanted to get that dress, that brown dress that I got yesterday. I wanted to get it in the red and the black but they didn't have my size, so it is what it is. I didn't need to buy any more clothes anyway. So I just got me some Cheerios. I bought Cheerios several times, and every time I never get to eat a bowl because they end up gone. I bought some more romaine. This one is Hearts of Romaine. MJ ran out of carrots, so I got him some carrots. Um, I got myself some bananas because I want to make a smoothie. I was gonna go to uh, Smoothie King, but I was like, I can make a smoothie at home. I got me some new cottage cheese, and I got the Frosted Sugar Cookie Creamer. I think I used this before, I'm not from, I, I mean, I used it by Coffee Mate or whatever the other coffee brand is. This one is International Delight. And then I needed some more half and half. So I got some more half and half, and y'all, I have been living my life for like the last three years since I moved back home from Seattle. Because when I was moving, I used a U-Haul pod thingy. And I was really trying to preserve space. So I have been living my life for the last three years without an iron. 
So I went ahead and bought an iron today because there is always this random time when I need to iron something. I have a steamer, but steaming is not the same, right? Because you gotta you gotta steam it perfectly to get it on both sides or whatever. So I also bought this little uh countertop. It's called a countertop ironing board, but I'm hoping that I can hang it on the door or somewhere because it looks like you can hang it and just I don't know. I'll probably just lay it on my bed and iron when I need to iron. Uh, but I don't really care. I think I got, I think this iron was like $26. They had one that was like 40, almost $50. And I was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not, it's not that serious. And I bought this new, um, it's new to me, obviously. Brush flannel, herringbone quilt. I love a good quilt on my bed. So I got this one um, by the Threshold brand. It was $89. 99 because i got the king size and i it's it's i have a quilt but the one that i have is more i guess rough for lack of a different term this one is soft this one is soft so i'm gonna wash it today and i'm washing the rest of my bed and so i'm gonna wash this today i wanted to get the pillow shams but they only have one so i'm just gonna order them online or find them at a different target uh so I can, you know, make my bed. But this is really cute, huh? Anyway, I am about to get my coffee going. I'm going to take a shower at lunch because I don't have, a, <laughs> I don't have enough time. Um, wait. Oh, yes, I do. I have 30 minutes. I'm going to go hop in the shower. And then I'll have enough time to just probably make myself a coffee. And uh, um, just go straight to work. I'm really hoping that I can get off early today because I want to go to sleep because I have been like exhausted and I'm, I'm just trying to catch up on sleep. I also need to put those wildflowers in the walls because a lot of them are empty and I, you know, I just need to do that. So I will see y'all later. Okay. Okay. Hey y'all. It is, I'm off. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> And I'm in here about to unload and load the dishwasher so that I can go to Wendy's and get me something to eat. Uh, I was going to make chili today, but I changed my mind. So I decided that I wanted to get chili from Wendy's. And when I get chili from Wendy's, I always get Wendy's chili, like, Four piece, five piece, how many nuggets that you can get. And I dip the nuggets in the chili. And I feel like the chili is going to be easy for me to eat. Because it's pretty light. Like, it's a slider food. Um, that's why I always make chili. Because I don't have to worry about it hurting me hurting myself while I'm trying to eat. Uh, and I get to eat a fair amount of food. So, I'm just in here. I need to do this first though because if I don't, if I don't do this, if I don't do this, when am I gonna do it? You know? So that's what we're doing right now. I think I also wanna try, I wanna attempt to put the um, the little lights, the stream lights on the patio. I don't know if I can reach, I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach the, um, I'm sorry y'all, hold on. So, like I said, I was thinking about putting the string, trying to put the string lights on the patio. I have two sets, so I could go ahead and put it around the perimeter because I don't think I'm going to be able, even on the ladder, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach the ceiling. But I think I'll be able to reach the perimeter. So if I just put them around the perimeter of the patio to give it like some vibes because I've been having the string lights forever. <laughs> and I've been asking my child to do it for me, but you know how that goes. So I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do it. And if I can't do it, I just wait until Michael can do it for me. Uh, so I think I want to try to do that. I 100% need to stop pushing those that laundry to the side <laughs> so i think i am going to 
I'm for sure going to put my laundry up tonight. And I did not record any outfits today. Today was another busy day at work, so I didn't record anything outfit wise, but thankfully I have all of those outfits that I recorded the other day. So um I do want to record more outfits probably tomorrow and and Saturday. Tomorrow and Saturday, yeah. I'll do some tomorrow and I'll do some on Saturday just so that I can finish the month out. And I'm just really proud of myself, y'all, because I set out to do this not really knowing what it was going to materialize to be. But I'm excited. I'm going to do like a, a recap or a what I learned from this experiment. I'm, I'm at this point, I'm calling it an experiment because I'm seeing, I'm learning a lot from this. One is that like, I have an effortless way of styling myself and I'm kind of sort of, you know, want to see if I can get in. Let me not say that, but I have like a little bit of an effortless way of, st of styling myself. And I noticed, you know, that I usually go for basic pieces, basic colors, you know, your neutrals. And sometimes I like a pop, but not all the time i also like what i like so some of the outfits you see like that that mesh bodysuit yeah that mesh bodysuit is in a couple of outfits because you know you just you like what you like and it and if it works it works so i'm like okay well i feel like i have unintentionally created a um a capsule wardrobe of sorts so that makes me happy because I was going, I was on Pinterest uh, probably like two or three weeks ago, just like saving different pins of people and their cap capsule wardrobes. And I was like, oh, I think I had to do this for myself. Not realizing that I'm, I'm basically already, <laughs> I'm basically already set up with a capsule wardrobe. I put that knife in the wrong, oh, I put that knife in the wrong hole. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to come in really quick because I haven't recorded anything since I last talked to y'all. Um, and I'm trying to be consistent and intentional about picking up this camera, turning, pressing record. What that dude say on that uh, Think Media? You gotta just press record. <laughs> so I'm just uh, trying to be intentional about that stuff because, you know, you 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 miss all of the shots you don't take so if i don't record something it could be something that's really good and if i don't record it i mean what am i supposed to do recreate it and that's cringy you know even just like if i try to recreate something um i just feel i feel like that would be so cringy even like trying to recreate something that happened organically so that's why I'm like always pulling my camera out and I'm telling my son I want my son to start recording his life because he's interested in recording his life he's interested in vlogging but he hasn't done it yet and I just want him to like just do it like know that I was in his thought process for a long time before I actually started started recording so Anybody else out there, if you want to record, just do it. I know it's cliche and people always say it because I was like, that's what y'all always say. But why ain't nobody watching my videos? And this is another cliche thing. It's because I wasn't consistent. You have to be consistent, right? So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, I am here filling up my dishwasher with these dishes because dishes will not get dirty for probably the next seven days. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna probably go get some. Um, I'm going to probably go and purchase some paper plates because I'm running low on paper plates. But everything is basically clean except for like these coffee mugs that I use every day and cereal bowls. Michael, my son likes cereal. So yeah, I just need to do this first because. If I didn't do this, then I went, I don't know if y'all can hear me. Hold on, 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 If I didn't do this, then I went to get 
and before I went to get Wendy's, then I would be like, okay, am I going to clean up the kitchen or am I going to put the laundry away? And I would have put the laundry away because I'm tired of it in my bed. And I got this new laundry quilt that I want wanted to make my bed with. I mean, not the new laundry quilt. I got this new um, quilt that I'm thirsty to place on my bed. So. Anyhow, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. See you later. Okay, bye. Y'all saw me pick up that other bag of salt. The other bag of salt, the crystals are, the crystals are small, like this. The crystal, these, this salt is probably, it says it's supposed to be for pool, it's pool salt. So the crystals for the salt that I need to put in this thing, last time we got them, they were huge and this time I think I got the right, I got one bag that's the right bag, but then I got one bag that's the wrong bag, but this is how big the crystals, well, I don't know, child, I don't know, but we can find out, let's just see. Yeah, so they have to be a little bit bigger than this, and this bag literally says, shit, this bag literally says for water softener so michael usually does this for my clean and i'm an independent black queen I usually put one bag of salt in here like every I don't know four to six months um look at my good knife must be out here from the last time he did it why is my good knife in the garage but yeah I usually put four one one bag of the, that salt in there like every four to six months so they're supposed to be coming to do maintenance on this machine, this system. I have to have this system, y'all, because when I lived in Seattle, the water was not hard. And I knew moving back here, the water was gonna be hard. And when I moved back here, I lived with my cousin and she had this system in her house. So I was like, yeah, totally gotta get it. All right, so now I have cleaned up the kitchen. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Dishwasher is going. I can go get me some Wendy's. So I am not gonna take y'all with me today because I feel like I got enough content. I don't need to record that. <laughs> so I will see y'all when I get back from Wendy's. Hey y'all, so I just got back from uh, Wendy's and I ordered food. I ordered, what did I order? I ordered a small fry, four piece nuggets, <clears throat> small chili with cheese and onion and a Coke. And I had four fries on the way home and I have to stop eating for a little while because y'all it's literally the, re the restriction is real. So while I wait for the restriction to pass or not pass, well while I wait because usually when I eat, I eat for like three hours. So while I wait for 
the food that I have eaten to go down. I am going to go ahead and give MJ a bath. That's why I'm here in the guest bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and give MJ his bath. He keeps running away from me, but he needs to take a bath. So that's what we're doing. And that is going to be all for today's vlog. So I hope you enjoy Vlogmas Day 14. I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas 15. Peace.